All right, out we go. Out into the road we go. Bike blogger here on my way to work. Tip of the day. Let's talk about chain oil. How often to lube your chain. Tip number one. In the winter time, do it weekly at least. Generally the winter is, uh, means there's a lot of salt on the road. That'll corrode your chain pretty quickly. You don't, uh, don't clean it regularly and lube it. You don't have to do much, just give it a little rinse, dry it off, and then add the lube. How much lube? How much chain oil? A little goes a long way. Uh, go right here. You get in the turn line here. Uh, little goes a long way. How do you know if you got enough on your chain or not? Just touch the chain. Uh, if it feels oily, then you got enough. Um, tip number two, the rain. After you ride in a heavy rainstorm, you should probably apply a little more chain oil because it could get rinsed off of your chain especially if you have dry chain loop if you're using a wet chain loop the same rules still apply you know maybe wash your chain but check it afterwards after it dries or after you dry it and see if it still feels oily to the touch if it does, then you got enough. Chain loop. This way. Working on the sidewalk there. Alright. That stuff stinks. Tip number three. every pin or rivet because uh, if you apply it near the rear sprocket assembly the freewheel <laughs> or cassette you should be able to pretty well get it on every roller that way uh, see, it looks like go this way tip number I've already lost track Three or four, five, six. When you apply the chain we let it sit for a couple minutes. I am seeing snowflakes. I don't know if the camera is seeing snowflakes, but it's cold out here. It's cold and it's uh, almost February. Oh. Yeah, let it sit for a couple minutes, go do something else, then come back and uh, Wipe off the excess. Uh, no. All right. So, uh, and then the final tip is what I mentioned already. A little goes a long way. You don't need to apply a whole bunch. Just make sure you get every roller. All right. This light is red.
There's a lot of traffic coming from that way though. <laughs> By the time that light goes uh, green, the traffic will finally be stopped probably. It's uh, lunch rush hour so as you can see people just keep coming. So that's all I got for you today. How often do you oil your chain? Uh, like I said, in the winter time, you should probably do it weekly. <laughs> this is gonna be a while, I think. All right, the light is going red over there. So the light to my right will probably be going red in a moment here. But, uh, yeah, what we could have done is just waited at the light. Because this is not saving me any time. Again, it goes the chain. <laughs> All right, out we go. Out into the road we go. All right, we're going this way today. A little bit different than I usually do. We've gone this way several times, though. End of that. Thanks for watching. The rest of the video will pretty much just be me on my way to work. You guys determined to pass me. That's an intersection. Not the brightest light in the house. <laughs> Look at that bike. Motorbike. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Got pulling out. Ah, he's going my way too. He's got a way slow down. Ride the suicide lane for a second here. Up another hill. Whew. It's 
cold, it's messing with my nose. Single spade. Woo. Yeah, I'm seeing, oh, sorry my nose. I'm seeing quite a bit of snowflakes. And guess what? Weather people said, 1% chance of snow, and it's snowing, albeit very little. Woo. Dark and gloomy, this is winter. Oh, boy, the light went green. 